Hi, welcome to part two of How to Coupon with OnlineCouponWorkshop.com. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about stockpiling. Now when you hear the word stockpile, you might think one of two things. The first being a Cold War era storm bunker filled to the ceiling with canned goods. The other, if you, if you have cable, you might think of a lifetime supply of mustard in someone's garage. Well, for our family, stockpiling is neither one of those things. Our vision of stockpiling is buying at rock bottom prices in quantities to last our family 6 to 12 weeks. Why 6 to 12 weeks? Because sales rotate. On average, you can buy something and 8 weeks later, you're going to see it go on sale again. So, our family of 6 buys our favorite items when we see them hit a rock bottom low price in quantities to last us that long. There's really no need to buy items that you're not going to use because then you risk the expiration date creeping up on you before they're used. So what I did was I went through our home room by room and I made a list of all of our favorite products, personal items, the ingredients I need for the meals that I create the most, pet stuff, even medications everything. I have a worksheet available for you on my website onlinecouponworkshop.com and I'll put it I'll link it in the little caption below. But so you go through your house and you make this list. If you're brand specific, if you have, you know, you just have to have Hunt's catch up, well then you write that down. And then you're going to estimate how many of those items that your family will use within the next 6 to 12 weeks. That can be kind of hard at first, but what I recommend you do is get a Sharpie marker and write the date that you open an item on it. That way, whenever the item's empty, you know how long it took to get all the way through it. That will help you to estimate a little bit better. So it might take a little time to figure this out. True confession, when we first started stockpiling, we ended up with enough toothpaste to last two years. <laughs> But the good thing was, after tornadoes went through central Alabama, we were able to package all of that toothpaste up and send it away. We'd never want to let something expire. So if you get close to an expiration date, make sure that you donate it with enough time for that charity to be able to use it. So just to recap, a stockpile is items that you use the most, bought at the lowest price possible, just to last you six to twelve weeks. That's as simple as it is. No need to clear a shelf. Just buy what your family needs and trust that what you like will be on sale again soon. Thank you for joining me today. Please come and visit me at OnlineCouponWorkshop.com.